Good morning. Bushido, the way of the samurai. It was a code of honor that guided these warriors every breath. The samurai knew that his ultimate test and defining moment would only come when faced with inevitable death. <laughs> to stand in the face of death, unafraid. Unflinching. Not seeking death. But accepting it. <laughs> Was the fulfillment of a samurai's lifelong journey. Is so cool. Yeah. yeah, cool. And Stuart? Yes, sir. This professor dude. <laughs> oh, yes, it's so beautiful here. Everyone has been absolutely wonderful. Yeah, the Brazilians are wonderful people. What time is your speech on the rainforest? At 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. And after that, I'm uh, visiting a children's hospital right here in Rio and... U.S. Secret Service, this is a secured area. Hey! No one is authorized to be in this area. How's mother? She still wants to redecorate the Lincoln room, but other than that, she's fine. <laughs> Tell me, how is it that she never liked me? She always thought I should have married a doctor. I'm sorry. You're not authorized to be on this floor? Sorry, no speak English. What the? We're in position. Proceed to secure. Go to the beach? Honey, have you seen what people wear to the beach down here? <laughs> I love you too. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. The terrorists are calling themselves the People's Liberation Army. They're demanding $100 million and enough high-tech weaponry to overthrow the Brazilian government, completely destabilize the region. I don't give a damn what they're demanding. Sir, they've already killed six people. There's this no doubt... This administration does not negotiate with terrorists. But, sir, it's your wife. I'm well aware of that. Thank you.
When? Immediately. I hope your husband understands that we are willing to die for our cause. Well, if that isn't very dramatic. But if you think my husband is going to give you and your gang of thugs any weapons, you'd better think again. Well, if he doesn't, you're dead. Approximately five minutes to destination, sir. Not how to make an entrance. Oh my god, you're hurt. I'm okay. Can you swim, ma'am? Yes, yes, why? Good. What are you doing? Put your arms around my neck. We we're not going to go down there, are we? Yes, ma'am. Oh my god. It'll be just like a ride at Disneyland. You promise? 
Put your arms around my neck and hold on tight. Is your husband the jealous type? Meeting you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much. Sure thing, ma'am. That man who rescued me, who was he? Ma'am, we have no idea. George. You want me to go with you? Not this time. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll see you in a few days. How you doing, boy? Huh? Yeah. Well, this is a surprise. Hey, Joshua. How you doing, George? Nice to see you, kid. Nice to see you. Yeah. Uh, You've done a lot of work on the place. Well, we just painted it. That's it. Come on in for coffee. Okay. I heard about that bit with the first lady. It reminded me of the time I went into Burma. Oh, listen. I know you didn't come all this distance just to, just to reminisce with me. So come on and tell me what's up. How did you know when it was time, George? Uh, uh, it's a gut feeling, you just know it. Is it your time? I think so. Well, then you're going to have to find yourself a replacement. Just like I found you. All right, let's listen up. All right, according to sources, both here and in the States, the Santiago cartel is responsible for approximately 40% of the illegal drugs coming into the States. Excuse me, sir. Sergeant, not that any of us mind the action, but if we know all this, why not send the video jocks over the facility, drop a load of juice, and we can all go home? The Santiago Cartel has set up an elementary school at the facility. A school? That's right. 
There's a teacher and approximately 20 children at the site. What the what? Your mission is to destroy the facility while maintaining an acceptable number of civilian casualties. An acceptable number of civilian casualties. Lieutenant, you mind explaining exactly what that number is? Five kids. Sorry, Sergeant. that is enough, Sergeant. You just remember your primary objective is the neutralization of that facility. You got that? Yes, sir. para la casa. ¿Qué es esto? Manzana, pero en inglés. Apple. One red apple. One red apple. Red apple. Red apple. Muy bueno. Two red apples. Two red apples. Very good. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> For the amor de Dios, you should have thought of God before you disrespected me. No, señor. Don Santiago. For the amor de. Ay! Should I kill him? No. I still got half a bucket of balls left. <laughs> Oh. All right, remember, the chopper will be back here in precisely one hour. One hour! I'll be waiting for you. All right, let's do it! Three clicks east of here to the facility. It gives us 15 minutes to reach the perimeter, 30 minutes for the mission, and 15 minutes to hump it back to the pickup point. Any questions? Yeah, Deke, I got a question. Will you marry me? <laughs> yeah, Burroughs, I would, but I already promised Dobbs in here. <laughs> all right. Now remember, all, all in, in, all out. out. Let's do it, gentlemen. Yes. All right, listen to me. I need you to get the children out of the compound. What are you going to do? Ma'am, please just do as I say and get the children to safety. Okay.
Should I let you go? Senor! Well, I guess so. Oye! ¿Qué estás haciendo? Good to go. All right, let's do it. Are you done? Come on, come on, blow it, blow it. Come on, what the hell? Fix it. circumstances surrounding the incident and can sympathize with Sergeant Slater's concern for his men. The fact remains, you did countermand a direct order and you did strike a superior officer. Therefore, this court has no choice but to sentence you to not less than seven years in a federal facility. Me. 
You want to hang with them, you can die with them. Everything cool? <clears throat> Ask them. You cross the line, Slater. There ain't no coming back. how tough you are without your brothers to back you up. You don't want to do this. I don't. No. standing there talking and all of a sudden Slater just lost it. Next witness. Well, uh, well, I got out of there just in time. These special forces. These guys are killers. We were all lucky to be alive. The defendant will rise. Not less than 30 years. I've got another 12 possible replacements for you. Of all of them, this one seems most promising. Deke Slater. He's in prison. Yes, but I've investigated the charges against him. In my opinion, he got a real raw deal. I mean, this guy got recruited by just about every major university in the country, and he could have had athletic or academic scholarships to any one of them. But he joined the military. Interesting. Okay, let's check him out. Slater? Who are you? I'm your ticket out of here, Mr. Slater. Open me 409! What do you mean you can't tell me? What part of it don't you understand, Mr. Slater? Look, wait a second, wait. Look, first you get me out of prison without even a guard or anything, which, not for nothing, but is kind of a little insulting. You bring me here, you tell me I'm gonna meet some kind of mystery man, and now you're saying you can't give me any details. You, uh, seem to understand it quite perfectly. So, 
This is the guy? A teacher? A professor. Whatever. This is the mystery man who's going to give me all the details. So. Who are you? Shh. Look, I'm getting a little sick and tired of being yanked around like this. I've got some questions and I want some answers. I told you I... Now, what was it you wanted to know? The president's man? The position goes all the way back to Abraham Lincoln. Every president since that time has had one person he could count on for whatever needs to be taken care of. Oh, whatever needs to be taken care of, I see. Well, within the bounds of reason and morality. The position's highly classified. The fact that it even exists is known to very few. You're telling me the White House maintains full deniability? Exactly. So right now, you're the guy. You're the president's man. That's right. So what is it? You want to retire now or what? Something like that. <laughs> so how do you know I'm the right guy for the job? I don't. Yet. This place our training facility as you can see we have everything we need including my personal favorite the course or as i prefer to call it the curse well when do we get started glad to see you're so enthusiastic let's see how long it lasts Is she always this sarcastic this is one of our better days. That's very nice. But that's not how we do it here. What does she mean by that? Come on, I'll show you. Got it? Yeah, I got it. That's how we do it. Come on, let's try it again. Llegó el carro! General Tran! Hey. General Tran, welcome. Thank you, Senor Santiago. 
No pleasure. You have the plutonium? Thank you. It is my pleasure. You didn't take any broccoli. No, I don't really like broccoli. I don't care if you don't like broccoli. You eat broccoli. George Bush doesn't eat broccoli. Well, you're no George Bush. So, what's he like? Who, George Bush? No, President Matthews. I mean, uh, is he a good guy? I don't know. I've never met him. I serve as the liaison to the president. That way, should something go wrong on a mission, there's no way of tracing it back to the White House. Now eat your broccoli. See, so you're not the only one she picks on. Given an ideal situation, a well-trained martial artist has the advantage over a lesser-trained opponent. But what about less than ideal situations? You're tired. You're hungry. You're mentally and physically fatigued. What then? You must develop the ability to maintain total focus and concentration. To put everything else out of your mind. Your physical situation. Your mental condition. Your concern for your safety or even your life. Nothing exists except the mission. This is something that the top minds in the computer industry designed specially for us. You can use it to access the global satellite network, communicate directly with me through a cyberlink technology that the Pentagon would kill for, and access top security files through both the NSA and the FBI. Any questions? Just one. Does it have solitaire? Because I'm like a wizard solitaire. Okay, listen carefully. This phone provides global coverage. It's also a radio-controlled detonating device. You'll dial an access number and then your code. This phone is powered by a nuclear battery no larger than the head of a pin. So what's that? This is packed with C7. This stuff makes C4 look like silly putty. Look, this is stupid. What's stupid? This, sparring with Quay. I mean, come on, no offense, all right, but I've had a lot of martial arts. Rule number one, never underestimate your opponent. Oh, come on, Joshua, she sucker kicked me, all right? I'd like to see her do this again. Rule number one. All right, I got it. I got it. All right, let's go. Show me your muscles. You are no Superman. <laughs> you know I can't be hustling. Cause your macho skirt just can't fulfill me. You wanna show me how tough you are, baby. Come a long way to go. Even for you know what a woman knows. If you don't get out of my way, you better learn how to do it. When the bad guy shows, take him. Yeah. A split second decision can make the difference between life and death. The secret is commitment. When you go for it, go for it. I'll try it again. Yeah, just try it. <laughs> so 
So, how'd you meet Joshua? Actually, I've known him all my life. Really? All your file said is that you were raised by the state. What happened to your family? I don't know. When I was three years old, my parents dropped me off at a church. No note, no explanation, nothing. You know, if you want, I could probably find them for you. Thanks, but uh, maybe someday. What about you? Where's your family? Joshua is my family. No, I mean your real family. But Joshua is my real family. He's my father. He met my mother in Vietnam towards the end of the war. They fell in love and got married. I came along soon after. What happened to your mother? She was murdered. She and my father were betrayed by a man they thought was their friend. Checkmate. I really hate this stupid game. <laughs> you only think it's stupid. Because you're really bad at it. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm on my way. I want her out safely. It will be taken care of, Mr. President. I know it will. Donna, I'm ready for that briefing on Indonesia. Her name is Courtney Lyons. Daughter of Senator Bob Lyons? The one and only. Three months ago, a girlfriend of Miss Lyons talked her into joining a quote-unquote religious cult. Three days ago, Miss Lyons managed to smuggle out a message to her father. She wants out. But they won't let her out. Exactly. Now, wait a minute. You've got the daughter of a senator being held against her will. Why don't you send in the Marines? Do the words Branch Davidian compound mean anything to you? Yeah, you got a good point. The cult is called The Chosen. Their leader, a one-time used car salesman named Douglas Weatherby. What right does Washington have to dictate to us? What right do these politicians have to demand tribute from us? The wolf may be knocking at the door, but we will not let him in. We are a sovereign force, a sovereign nation, and we will fight to the death for our right to remain free. Amen. I've just got one question. Are those guards supposed to keep people out or keep people in? Both, probably. There she is. You sure this will work? The rifle fires a tiny pellet that contains trace elements of a radioactive isotope. She'll think she got stung by a bee, but the isotope will allow us to track her movements for the next 24 hours. Until dark, let me go in. We? Oui. Hey, look, I think I should do this myself. Why? Why? Because this mission is a cakewalk. I go in, I get her out, I'm back before anyone knows she's even gone. No mission's a cakewalk, and I'm not sure you're ready. Well, there's only one way to find out, right? Now, we have guards patrolling along the perimeter, so you gotta come in from the lake along here. Right. Never seen reconnaissance photos with this degree of clarity before. We download them directly from the satellite network. What's the satellite network? The eye in the sky. 
There probably isn't more than a few inches of the planet that aren't being photographed 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The mic is omnidirectional. Just speak normally. You got it. Give me your arm. Why? What's that? Radioactive isotope. The red dot is Courtney Lyons. The blue dot here is you. All right. Okay, remember, it's a simple extraction. You're in, you're out. You got it. But, Mr. Weatherby, the domestic terrorism bill goes before Congress next week. If it passes, we're finished. Who's sponsoring the bill? Senator Lyons. Go get Courtney Lyons. Perhaps it's time we sent the senator a little message. sent to get you out of here now let's go no not without Kathy ma'am my mission was to get you now please let's go no I, I I won't go without her look you don't understand she's my best friend I I can't leave her here all right where is she Kathy Kathy come on we're getting out of here I told you earlier I'm not going anywhere. Who are you? Listen to me. Okay, Weatherby is crazy. He's crazy. Look, we have to go with or without her. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving without her. Right there. Mr. I don't know who you are, but you just made a real bad mistake. Who sent you? No one. I'm a friend of these ladies and I'm taking them out of here. You are not taking anyone anywhere. You had a mission. I know, Joshua, I know. Look, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to think about this. You need to talk to him. He's not the easiest person to talk to. Talk to him.
I know you think I screwed up. I don't think you screwed up. I know you screwed up. I went with my instincts. And that's the problem. All you go with are your instincts. Just like when you hit the lieutenant. I had two men out in the field. And you were right about that. But you had other options. What? What other options did I have? You tell me. Think about it. And how about when you killed a guy in the prison? That was self-defense, and you know it. Again, all you went with were your survival instincts. Joshua, what's your point? My point is, is that you got to go with other things besides your instincts. Oh, yeah. Like maybe perhaps your brain. Well, maybe I'm just not good enough, huh? Maybe you're not. Feels terrible. He should. He jeopardized a mission. What are you going to do? I'm not sure. You getting ready for winter or just getting some exercise? Hey, Joshua. Oh, a little bit of both. <laughs> What's up? What's wrong? I may have picked the wrong person, George. What makes you think that? I don't know. He's just so cocky and he thinks he knows everything. And you don't think you were that way when you first started? Maybe a little. Maybe a lot. But you learn. There's two things to keep in mind. When I told you to find a replacement, I didn't mean just find one. You had to create one. You don't look for the negative side of a man. You look for his positive side. And second, just because he doesn't do things the way you would have him done, that doesn't necessarily mean he's wrong. Hi. Hi. How was your visit? Yeah, it was fine. Deke, we need to talk. I'll be in my office. No, this involves all of us. You screwed up. Joshua, I know, but that... Let me finish. You screwed up, but you screwed up for the right reasons. You're going to make mistakes, but it's how you deal with those mistakes that's going to make the difference. So, does this mean I'm not fired? You're not that lucky. Americans call it a war on drugs, but no, it is a war on us. They destroyed our other location, but uh, <laughs> they will never find this one. The Americans think they can fight us with impunity. There is nothing we can do to strike back. Well, General Tran, thanks to you and your plutonium, they are about to find out how wrong they are. Stretch your stuff, you can talk and talk, but it ain't enough. The walls keep getting higher. You got the plan, got the world in your hand. We're gonna roll the dice, gonna take a stand. But can you brave the fire? Being good won't get you far when you bet your life. You better have the cards. You can blow up and it won't be your next time. Okay, now I want two giants and a backflip. Well, I just did that. 
I know, but this time I want you to do it blindfolded. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's, he's kidding, right? What do you think? Fingers won't get you far when you bet your life with a half a cause. You can blow, but there won't be a next time. Better think fast, it's a hardcore game. You can never lose, never run away. It's only the strong will survive. You're doing better. 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 Be the best, be a superstar. Fight the fight is who you are. Only the strong will survive. Eighteen seconds. Yes. Man, am I good or am I good? What did I tell you about being overconfident? Well, you know the saying, it ain't bragging if you can back it up. It's still bragging. Well, this bragger. Thinks that he can beat you to the bell. Oh, really? Let's see. play fair I play to win what were you thinking about uh, I don't know it's a mission ringing the bell and what stopped you <laughs> you did exactly sometimes you may have to remove an obstacle before you go for the objective <sighs> okay gentlemen playtime's over Dr. Francis Anderson, world-renowned physicist and the National Security Administration's leading expert in tactical nuclear weaponry. Dr. Anderson failed to report to work yesterday. An NSA team was sent to the house. Dr. Anderson, his wife Donna, and two daughters, Stacy and Terry, weren't there. Now, the NSA, in cooperation with the FBI, has launched a full-scale investigation, but up to the moment, they've come up dry. Do they believe the family was kidnapped? Yes. And they're pulling out all the stops to try to find him. The president has asked for our help. Come on, everybody, out! Come on, get up! Come on! What's going on here? Who are you? Your new employer. What do you want from me? Six tactical nuclear weapons. Our Vietnamese friends will be providing the plutonium and you will be providing the expertise. Let's see how strong America's commitment to the war on drugs is when a nuclear device explodes in a subway in New York City. I'm not gonna help oh, you. Oh, but you will. And let me make this perfectly clear, doctor. You will help us. Because if you don't, your entire family will die. One by one, slowly and painfully. Okay. I hate this game. 
But you are getting better at it. They found Dr. Anderson and his family. According to the latest intelligence from Langley, Dr. Anderson and his family are being held captive by the Santiago drug cartel in Colombia. Santiago drug cartel? When I was with Delta Force, we wiped out their main operation. Yeah, well, they've apparently built a new facility in a remote section of the Colombian forest. Do we have a location? No. By current estimates, over 16,000 square miles of Colombia are controlled by the drug lords. And there are hundreds of facilities scattered throughout the country. According to intelligence sources from inside Colombia, Don Diego Santiago struck a deal with a group of ex-Vietnamese military officers led by a General Vin Tran. Vin Tran. Great plutonium. Where did you get this? Your contact in Colombia is a man named Felipe Juarez. He'll meet you at this location at four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Why is this guy helping us? Felipe's mother, father, wife, and three children were murdered by Santiago's men. Well, that's a pretty good reason. Yeah. I'll say. Tight in here. In a few minutes, you're gonna have all the space you need. Three minutes to the drop zone, sir.
Our contact's villa is one mile south southeast. Santiago's men. So much for our contact. So, what do we do? The NSA has an eye in the sky that sweeps this area every 15 minutes. Yeah, even so, Quay said that there are hundreds of these drug compounds located all over the country. Finding the right one would be like finding a needle in a haystack. Yeah. idea. Let's contact Quay. Quay, we need to download some satellite photos. Do you have the coordinates? Five degrees, 53 minutes north, 75 degrees, 11 minutes west. I'm accessing the satellite now. Time frame? Start at 1600 hours and go back from there. Wow, those are our boys. Santiago's hit team. Scan back. Put a marker on the Jeep and track it back to where it began. Stop there. Zoom in. Found it. Wait, what are the coordinates? Seven degrees, 16 minutes north. 77 degrees, two minutes west. That puts it in the middle of the jungle, right outside of Medellin. Okay. We'll contact you when we complete the mission. Good luck, guys. How much longer? I don't know. This equipment, it's ancient. You have until tomorrow morning. That's impossible. With proper motivation, nothing is impossible. You 
will be finished by tomorrow. I want to go home. I know. I know, and we will. When? Soon, honey. Soon as Daddy gets his work done. Where are you taking us? Big one. What are you talking about? Take the one first to die. No, I, I won't do this. Fine. I'll pick. No! Too valuable to kill for now. <sighs> you. Maybe you want to talk to your daddy because if he doesn't work harder. Then tomorrow, I'm going to have to kill you. <laughs> it's almost dawn. How much farther? Six miles to camp that way. Okay, let's whoop it. It's almost there. I'm sorry, Doctor, but how could you possibly respect me if I didn't keep my word? No, no way. Please. I I'll give you your nuclear bomb. I, I just need a little bit more time. And you'll have it. After we execute your daughter.
out! No! Come out now or they all die! Come out! There he is! Tell me what I want to know. Why should you suffer first? I don't know. It's just my nature, I guess. Come get us when he's ready to talk. Watching the whole time? Yeah, I was. Get the family to safety. There's something I gotta do. All right. Tran. Joshua McCord. <laughs> you are a... You are a very hard man to kill. Why did you do it? $200,000. The North Vietnamese very much wanted you dead. Why my wife? Why Lee? I couldn't leave witnesses. Easy, I'm on your side. Who, who are you? I've been sent to get you and your family out of here. All right, now stay close and follow me. Okay. I told you to put a couple of more men on him. Wait, else I'll be back. Wait. I often wondered what would happen should we meet again. Let's find out. <laughs> We're moving you to a different location. Let's go. Come on, Doc. Lobo. Where's the guard? I don't know.
that him? Yeah. Call Quay. President, we just got word from Delaforce. Dr. Anderson and his family are safe and on their way home. Thank God. What's that? Your record. It's been wiped clean. What do you mean, wiped clean? It means you're free to do whatever you want to do. Whatever I want, huh? So, what do you want? I want to be the president's man. <laughs> 